Good afternoon folks, it's Paul here from All About Motorbikes, leaving work now at quarter past four and it's seven degrees and it's actually getting really dark isn't it? Now this is a test of the microphone that I've just put in, uh, the story was I came to work the other day after fitting my um, communication system which was gifted to me kindly by my very good brother Derek and, um, and when I came to work on the morning and realised that when I tried to look at the footage because I'd made a vlog for you there was no sound and uh, I thought what the hell's going on it turns out the mic had broke you know so which I was a bit gutted about because I'd uh, talked about quite a fair bit and it's no good to be trying to talk about it again it's starting to rain now so let's see how we cope well, I'm in the open face position with this helmet and I'm sorry if it's a bit dark for you but uh, these uh, this day and age I mean this this time of year you don't get really get much chance to make uh, vlogs only on a weekend but my weekends really are taken up so you know it has to be as and when you know rather than have too long of a break I'd rather give you something to uh, look at or watch because uh, yeah I think we're facing some extreme temperature changes uh, soon you know it's going to get really cold and there is snow in the forecast at some point over this uh, coming week it won't be down here hopefully but uh, the highlands of Scotland and high parts on the Pennines will definitely be getting it you know so it's getting to that point where I'll have to uh, put the bike in the garage and leave it in there and come to work in the car got some serious traffic problems again as usual at this time of night and this is where your bike plays a, a good part anyway hopefully this vlog is coming through loud and clear and we're back on form and back on track which means I can st still continue making videos for you guys you know if I'd have been in my car now I'd have been devastated coming this way I really would have been Thankfully, I'm on the pan. I'm the pan man. I mean, you don't go travelling through with this kind of traffic at a fair rate of knots like uh, one bloke I know who does, and uh, I take my hat off to him, really, I, but I couldn't do what he does. T4M, that's his name. He goes flying through the uh, traffic filtering away and he scares a living daylight out of me. If you've never seen him, his channel, check his channel out, T4M. He's uh, the guy's from London. Unbelievable. I can't watch sometimes, I'm cringing too much. I mean, I filter, but I, f I try and filter as safe as I can. The last thing I want to do is get knocked off and I'm always watching out for cars trying to change lanes although you can never see them all. But uh, this is one of the benefits of actually riding a motorbike. You're, uh, you're quite able and legal to filter through traffic. It is a lot better than actually sitting in a car albeit you're warm and you've got your music on and stuff like that but that takes the fun out of it for me this is what makes you feel alive it makes you feel alert you know you you see what's going on around you you're more alert of what's going on around you
the exception to the rule for me. Cars, they have a place in society, absolutely 100% agree. But for me, I'm a biker. A biker through and through. I hate this time of year. It's such a miserable existence, isn't it? It's dark. It's cold. You know, and... Uh, it gives people what's known as the SAD syndrome, isn't it? You know, uh, I think it's somewhat to do with light deficiency and things like that. The go to work, bless them, like myself. And uh, you go to work and it's dark and you set off home and it's dark. You know, there's... And there's not much uh, light at all, even through the day when you are off. So... Anyway... I do, uh, my good friend Derek's coming up at the end of the month and I cannot wait for that, bless him. I'm so looking forward to him. I've just watched a couple of videos of his and he's put a new touring screen on his uh, Z1000SX. Absolutely looking the dog's doodah as it is. It really is. Yes, we have a bit of a, a wind up and um, it's spitting. Spitting to rain, it's spitting! And here we are hitting traffic again. When I talk primarily about uh, works traffic being horrendous, you know, this is what it's like every day. And uh, as a commute, I have to do at least 23 to 24 miles, depending on which way I go. You know, but you get stuck in traffic like this all the time. And uh, hence why I uh, decided to start coming on the motorbike. It makes much more sense to me. But you have to be very careful because the amount of times I've had some near misses where people have pulled out on me, you know, it's unbelievable. Anyway, getting back to Derek's screen, it, uh, it's absolutely brilliant. It's transformed his bike. Now his screen can go into three different positions, a bit like this, this can as well, no, actually it's two positions on this bike, either low or high. But either way, Derek's has got a fantastic touring screen there now, because the, the screen that actually comes with his bike, the original OEM screen, was buffeting him, it was, the, it was sending the turbulent air to his chest and buffeted him. Buffeting him, should I say and hence why he's got this touring screen because the man and well me and him are going to be doing some nice little uh, camping trips next year some touring and stuff like that and when you're doing stuff like that you do you do want to be comfortable you don't want to be buffeted by the wind but the exception to that rule is when you've got a touring screen and you have the ability to put it up and down during the summer months you'll have it down because you want as much airflow to you as possible to keep you cool whilst you're wearing your protective gear anyway it was just a very very short vlog folks I just wanted to say hello and hope you're all okay and um, keep riding safe and stuff like that so I've been Paul from All About Motorbikes Bye for now, folks, and take care, please. Bye.